Welcome back to the Cowboy Seabop Show. Hey, listen, quick note, I might change my YouTube name, all right? I haven't been doing much, uh, you know, ranching or horse in the past couple of years due to my back. So I'm thinking about just changing the title of, you know, my YouTube channel as Movie Knives, all right? So stay tuned for that. It just might happen, you know? By Cowboy Seabop, of course. But as I said, since I haven't been doing cowboying lately, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, thank you again for watching this just all-around fun channel. All right? It's not just about knives. It's about life. Right? <laughs> anyway, why are we here today? Because we're going to celebrate the final season of the great TV show, Better Call Saul. Now, if you guys are fans of Breaking Bad, I don't have to tell you guys anything new. Breaking Bad was phenomenal. And then a couple years later, they came out with Better Call Saul, which is a prequel to Better, <laughs> to Breaking Bad. All right? Then they came out with a movie a couple years ago called uh, El Camino, which picks up from where Breaking Bad leaves off. It's incredible. So anyway, we're at the final season of Better Call Saul. I totally binged watch these shows the past couple of weeks. And I didn't catch this the first time around. I noticed that one of my favorite characters, Tuco, who was in Breaking Bad, he was using a knife. Um, and by the way, this, this isn't for children, so... You know, the clips I'm going to show you guys, you know, adult supervision, please. All right, you guys know how I roll. I try to keep it clean. But anyway, there's this crazy character called Tuco, and you see him in Breaking Bad. I believe it's episode season one, episode six. You see him using a knife. And I'm like, I didn't catch it the first time around, but I caught it the second. I'm like, I have that. And then, watching Better Call Saul, which is a prequel to Breaking Bad, they bring Tuco back again. And again, you'll see the clips. And I believe this is season one, episode two. You see him using another knife that I had. Now, why don't you just watch the clips and then we'll come back and talk about, you know, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, and the knives. All right? So hang out for a minute. I'll, be, I'll see you on the flip side. I apologize for any glare. Tuco, what's happening, my brother? It's a pretty intense Shit, scene. Chris. You've been keeping it real since you've been sprung. What's it been, like a year? Is this your boy? Yeah, Jesse, the dude with the glass I was telling you about. Hey, man, yeah, I've heard a lot about you. Break out the ice. Man, no cough. I said hit it. Sweet. No, no, hey, it's not, it's not that, man. It's just, you know, I don't, I don't do business that way. No oh, shit, the deal is done. You said this was cool. Get money for meth, cash up front. Up front, dude, too cool. Good for it. I don't need you. Punk 
Yes, to vote for me. Ever again. Guaranteed. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Assuming, you know, that they're still breathing. You think they're ever gonna forget today? Never. Ten years from now, it's still gonna be crap in their jockeys. It's not enough. Okay, okay. Then let's talk proportionality. They're guilty. <laughs> Agreed. Now you have to decide what's the right sentence. Like a judge. Like a judge. You ever hear of the code of Hammurabi? Let the punishment fit the crime, eye for an eye. I for an eye. You want me to blind them? No, no. Everything was trash talk. So I cut their tongues out. See, I'm advising that you make the punishment fit the crime. Punishment fit the crime. Colombian neckties. I cut their throats and then I pull their long tongues through the slits. Better snatch. Or you. Hey. If you haven't seen it, we're not going to go any further. I'll let you guys uh, check it out. But you do see the Espada, right? All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed those clips. All right, let's talk about the first two set of clips. They were from Breaking Bad. Okay, so I watched it years ago, but I never really, you know, caught this. I don't know why. I'm a knife guy. All right, so you see one of my favorite characters, Tuco. All right, they're making that deal, you know. Um, again, this isn't for children. I hope you guys, you know, you know, we're cool about, you know, the clips. You see him wielding the Muella Magnum 19A. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous knife with that stag handle that beautiful brass guard this is actually the little brother of the Muella Magnum 26 one of my most prized possessions ladies and gentlemen this was also featured in Seraphim Falls I talked about it in previous videos such a gorgeous 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 knife again one of my most prized possessions all right so anyway the muella magnum 19a now if you guys are going to search for this be careful because muella has like one or two versions of the 19a i think one is sario and one is something else you want the keyword magnum which is the muella magnum 26 like little brother okay all right now i also seen them available because Ruko now is a distributor of Moella, I think the newer versions have Ruko, like stamped and printed on the blade. I mean, if you don't mind that, hey, that's fine. Does you know it doesn't take away from the knife? It's beauty, but I prefer the original, made in Spain. Moella Magnum 19A, such a badass knife. Sharpness out of the box, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get any better than this. This is one of the most beautiful knives ever made, along with its bigger brother. All right? So remember, Luella Magnum 19A from Breaking Bad. 
the second set of clips I sent you, again, features our boy, Crazy Tuco. I'm so glad in Better Call Saul they brought him back. All right, he's an unforgettable character. You see him using the cold steel espada. All right, this is made of such high quality materials. Um, S35VN steel at that beautiful polished micarta handle. This is perhaps my favorite folder of all time. Folder, uh, flipper, whatever you want to call it. Another one of my prized possessions. I first found out about this in the movie Expendables, Mickey Rourke scene. Again, I did a video years ago on the Mickey Rourke smoking pipe carrying the Espada scene. All right. Um, did I did I say this earlier that I'm thinking about changing my YouTube name to, uh, you know, Movie Knives, you know, by Cowboy Seabop, whatever, something like that. I'm, this is what got me started making YouTube videos in the first place. I have a huge collection of Movie Knives. All right. Some famous, some not so famous. So if you guys want to check out, you know, all my other videos, check it out. If I'm missing any, recommend one to me. All right. I still got the original box of the Espada. This here is the model 62MB. That's Mary Bravo. And uh, again, prize possession all the way. So this was from Better Call Saul. Get in there, puppy. This was from Breaking Bad. Okay, now, did we do an edge test on a... The Espada? I don't think we did. I've had this for years. And I don't think I ever took a sharpening stone to it. I had a history of screwing up knives when I sharpened them. So, you know, you'd think a knife guy would be better at uh, sharpening. He ain't. All right? I sent it to a professional. <laughs> so, anyway. Let's now talk a little Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, El Camino. Okay, if you guys want to end the video now, you can. But if you want to talk about the TV show, this is pretty funny. All right. So, one of my other favorite characters, I mean, he's such a scene stealer, is the character played by Mr. Jonathan Banks, Mike Ermintrail. Okay. I'm going to have to get up for this. Take a good gander of this ugly mug. All right. <laughs> All right. So, attention Hollywood. If you need somebody to do a backstory and play the role of a younger Mike Ehrman Trout, look no further. I'm your guy. I mean, after all, his character, he's a former Philly cop. Ta-da! I know all about that. So I'm thinking, hey, you guys love doing, you know, prequels and sequels and all that. Do a backstory on Ermin Trout because he's definitely got a tale to tell. All right. Love this character. Speaking of Ermin Trout, is it just me or does he resemble Sylvester Stallone? Is it just me? Stallone, this movie is just a picture taken from a, a movie that is coming out in August 2022 called The Good Samaritan. Get back over here. And I'm like, my God, he reminds me of Ermin Trail. Heck, he could even play the role. But if you want to go younger, you got to go me. All right, that's it. I said it. Yeah, give, give it a Google. All right, check it out. Anyway, I think that's funny. I just, I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. All right, let's take one last look at these gorgeous knives, ladies and gentlemen. So you can carry on with your day. Don't forget, leave a comment. Uh, give a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you enjoy this. Uh, I love talking movie knives, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it's a hobby.
It's a good hobby. All right. Stay well. Take care. And I'll see you soon. All right. Have a good day. Have a good week. It's a beautiful day out. All right. Bye.